all right so update three i think it is my solar heater all right as you can see a lot of the lines actually kind of didn't stay in the order it was i think gravity just pulled it down which is fine it still generates a fair amount of heat the solar panel works fine the only problem is one of the contacts came loose it wasn't it was it seemed to have been cold soldered so i had to solder it back and um, i couldn't figure out just why the pump wasn't running so i had to resolder it um i had hoses before if you look at the previous videos but i decided to run some pvc lines and bury it so it's less of a trip hazard all right so as you can see i ran the lines including the power line and i made some holes with a step bit in my lanai um, aluminum sheeting over here i put a grommet which i bought at harbor freight i just cut the grommet and fed it in so the wire is okay uh, i'm going to seal this up with silicone to make sure no bugs get in and i had originally put it through here so i'm just going to close this back all right make it nice and whole again and over here i ran the two lines let me go inside and show you what I did. So I ran one line here and it goes down to the pump. All right, I glued everything except I put L here for loose, loose, loose. So in case I need to replace the pump or anything like that, it's easy to unscrew that connector. All right, and I also ran, so this is goes into down and into the solar collector and this discharges so i have this hanging out here because we have some dirt in the line i don't want to get dirt into the pool so i just um left this out i'm going to flip the solar panel around when the sun reaches it and purchase line all right and these fittings are also loose in case i need to do any work it is self-supporting so i didn't need to anchor it all right so i just you know it's fine it's not going anywhere and um yeah, I think it costs about $15 in material, plus um, including the glue. And I think it, this is a better job. You know, it's easy to just cut out PVC when you're done with it or you're done with the pool. But um, yeah, I think this will be, you know, a little more aesthetically pleasing. What was happening before, when I had the hose hanging over here, the hose t tend to lie flat. So it will constrict in the flow of water. And I wanted as much water flow as possible. So that's one, another reason why I decided to go with this. Another reason too is that the hose, I had put a piece of weight on it that was also flattening the hose to prevent the hose from falling out and draining the pool or running running the pump, running the water level so low that the pump would stop working and burn out. So that's why I decided to go with a PVC solution instead. So it's easy, It will, there will be less restrictions and it's a, it's a better installation. So, um, I hope this helps. If you like what you see, give me a like, subscribe. I have videos coming out every Monday. And thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye. All right. So I wanted to state as well that the hot and cold waters are pretty close together. The reason for that is that it was easier to connect it here and easier to service than it is further along the pool. I have restricted access and also because the pool when you put the pool pump on the water circulates so the cold water it will pick up the water first and the hot water will come after it and will circulate around the pool before it makes a round and then comes back to the cold water so that's why i put them close together didn't really matter I, as long as the cold is before the hot so i hope this clarifies